Good morning home RV mechanics. Today we're going to do a battery service on our motor home. We have three batteries, one starting and two coach batteries that need to be serviced. It's best practices to service these batteries once a year, but I gotta admit I've been a bad boy. I've had this rig a little over three years now and I've, I've never serviced the batteries. Uh, just been so busy, but uh, that's not a very good excuse. So uh, I've noticed that terminals are starting to look a little corroded, so let's get to it and, and get this thing cranking good. Now my batteries uh, reside here underneath the step. Let me give you a close-up. Now these are my two coach batteries, and this is my starting battery, and you can see I'm getting some corrosion right here. Um, what happens as uh, uh, these are uh, lead acid liquid filled batteries and as they charge a gas vapor comes out of right here where the where the liquid reservoirs are. It's attracted to neutral right there. Now fortunately the rest of these terminals uh, don't seem to be too uh, uh, have uh, collected that. Normally you'll you'll find it on your car. Now you'll notice right here on the positive terminal see how this blue corrosion is starting to appear on the terminal uh, the cable terminal in. So we need to clean that off. It looks like we're picking up a little bit right here and also a little bit right there and even some right there. Uh, so anyway, uh, what you do is after you service, you get clean these terminals up. Uh, you cover all these terminals. They make a special uh, battery terminal spray and just spray it on there. Now I have seen some guys when they don't have anything better to use, they'll uh, just grab some axle grease and put a big glob of it on there, and actually that works. It uh, it it looks like hell, and it collects dirt, and it looks nasty, and it makes a mess. Every time you get near it, you touch it, you get it on you, but uh, but it does work. And I have seen one time where a guy had uh, uh, shot some spray paint, and whether that works, I don't know. I don't know how long that spray paint had been on there. I don't know what the whether that works or not. I wouldn't advise it. But they sell this stuff uh, at the auto parts store. It's just a little can. It's usually red stuff, and you just shoot it on there, and that'll protect your terminals. All right, let's get our tools together. Oh. Uh, when you have these many uh, terminal connections, you're uh, uh, encouraged to just disconnect everything, clean it up real quick, and then put it all back together. And that sounds fine and good when you're talking about it, but it's real easy once you get all these cables disconnected, especially if you have more, a couple more batteries than this. You can't remember exactly where each battery cable goes, and you could real easily cross something and blow up something uh, uh, some electronic uh, whatever in your motorhome or or even your automobile or truck so it's best practices to do them one at a time even though it might take longer even though it might be a pain and even though you're in a hurry uh, do them one at a time you'll thank yourself later alright let's find some tools and let's get to it okay so in this battery service what it is we're going to do we're going to disconnect each cable we're going to clean the, the cable the terminal on the end of the cables uh, and we're going to clean the battery connect the terminal connection uh, to make a good connection now the most important tool you, you need to do this is one of these this is called a battery brush now if you look inside you'll notice that there's brushes in there this is for the battery post you put it down on there and you twist it and that cleans it up real well. Now, you just grab the top of this, twist the cap, pull it off, ta-da-da! Now you've got a, a, a male brush and this is for the, the terminal end on the cable and then you, you, you can clean, clean that. It's excellent. I paid $3 for this at Ace Hardware. You can get this at, at any auto, auto parts supply and even Home Depot probably carries them, I would bet. 
All right, let's put it to use. Okay, so I'm going to start with this terminal back in here. And uh, as it turns out, for some reason, this particular clamp has a, a bolt smaller than the rest of them. It's a 10 millimeter, and it's metric. The rest seem to be US. Okay, so give this a wiggle. Okay. Well, they got these cables in there tight, don't they? Come on, you. I got a battery post puller someplace. We just moved here, and I'm not too sure where that tool might be. Nope, it's not going to work. Okay, got this tool. Now this tool here, as you see, has a little bend on the end of it. This is actually a prying tool. Uh oh, nothing's happening. Don't, don't. You press too hard, and you'll. can dislodge this post out of this battery. There it goes. Easy, that's what it takes. Just kind of we get back and forth. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get rid of the debris. Find my, my cool tool I told you about. Okay, so just go one way. Now, if you try to go the opposite direction, I'm going clockwise. You try to go counter, you you notice it doesn't want to want to go. So don't the. Uh, but what you want to do is kind of kind of screw it up and down the post a couple times. There. Look at that terminal. You can see how nice and shiny it up is now. That's fantastic. Okay, got my, my cap off my brush. help if I get my hand out of the way and just kind of thread it down in there then thread it back up well, come up already don't want to come up there it goes and, and take a look see how nice and shiny that is all around it's all it's all we were looking for Okay. okay. Boy, this thing does not want to come off, does it? Come on, you. You got to There it goes. Okay, so it's it's loose side to side. Years ago, there used to be uh, battery shops, and you take an old dead, there it goes, an old dead, no good battery out, and a guy, he'd give you something for it. He, he wouldn't give you much. I'm talking like 50 cents. And uh, I went in there one to one one time to buy a battery. He, had, he reconditioned the old batteries is what he did, and uh, it really is a pretty simple job. Uh, I watched him take my battery, and he he cut this the this uh, the plastic on top as a cap, and it comes off of the battery box. And he cut it, popped that thing off. Uh, he ditched these terminals. He was able to replace the terminals, turn the battery box upside down, dump all the liquid out of it, and he shook it, and all kinds of, of debris comes out of there. Well, it really wasn't debris. This is stuff that's uh, collected on the plates. And it settles into the bottom of your 
uh, your battery box and if that stuff builds up and it gets deep enough it'll touch the bottom of the other plates and and all it has to do is because uh, you have um, there's six two volt cells so all it has to do is cross one of those cells and short it out and, and now your battery only makes uh, 10 volts instead of 12 volts so he'd knock all that stuff out and he'd rinse the uh, uh, the box out and rinse the plates off and he'd flip it back upside down put in a couple new posts uh, put the cover back on it and he had some kind of glue molding plastic something like a like a it almost looked like a hot glue gun zip 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 around around the corner and uh, he'd fill it up um, um, he had containers of a brand new electrolyte uh, uh, hydraulic not hydraulic uh, hydrochloric acid and he poured it in all the cells, uh, put his meter on it, and immediately had a little bit of voltage, but he put it on the charger, uh, topped it off, and he put it on the on the rack, and he, he'd sell it. He didn't sell them for a whole lot. It, it was, uh, gosh, I just can't remember what it was. I want to say $2, but it seemed like it was more than that. Maybe 5 maybe 7 It wasn't a whole lot of money, but uh, but it had uh, zero uh, uh, warranty. So for people who, who are really tight on their money, and they're pretty poor, uh, that, that's where he, they could go and, and, and find something that's uh, affordable to them. Okay, i got a tool to get this nut out, bolt out. Guess it'll help me get it going right away. I'll tell you something else when you're messing with this stuff. See, look at that. It's big chunk of corrosion right there let's take these out I'm gonna go find a brand new boat I got a box full of them in there let's throw that thing out could use a little shorter thread uh, something else I'll tell you when you're messing with this stuff with this um, liquid battery electrolyte and this powdered corrosion stuff don't get it on your clothes uh, man this stuff loves to eat cotton Man, it'll burn through your clothes right now. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was, I was serviced my battery when I was in high school wearing my favorite army jacket and uh, cleaned all the terminals and did everything. And I, and I turned around and I looked down and around the, the lower pockets, there, there, it had already ate holes in my clothes. It, God, it just, just killed me. I, I loved that jacket and I paid a lot for it. And anyway, uh, that battery shop I was telling about where that guy was rebuilding battery I thought it was real curious the clothes he was wearing he, he looked like he was he was kind of uh, kind of wearing dre dressy clothes a little bit and I asked him about it and he said uh, oh uh, he was wearing a silk shirt and nylon pants and he said because battery acid he said won't won't affect those I, I'm not sure about the silk shirt it might have been a nylon shirt not uh, nylon was it nylon silk I can't remember now uh, and it seems to me that uh, also you can wear like a leather apron and it won't affect that stuff either but anyway uh, most people don't have that those kind of clothes around so just uh, uh, just be cautious and when we get done we're gonna rinse this whole thing off with uh, with a garden hose and that uh, uh, <laughs> deactivates the acid quite a bit when you when you water it down that way and your hands are okay just just wash them you, uh, as long as you don't you don't feel it burning you'll be okay all right let me get a bolt we'll be right back so uh, what I found down in this hole is some corrosion so I had to go find my baby rat tail file and I went and filed that and I, I got it pretty clean not perfect, mind you, but pretty clean. Now this is rusty ass nasty thing. I was I was going to throw it away, and I realized it doesn't do anything. Uh, there's no electricity running through there. That. that just clamps clamps this thing to the post. So we'll leave it for now. Now look at that. Is that nice and clean. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, find our cap, put that back on. Okay, pull these out the way. Take 
a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They look real nice. I'll push all this stuff around. This whole battery looks a little it's kind of greasy, but I don't know where from. The uh, because these do not. Oh, I know where it's 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 from charging. You know, sometimes too, it's easier to take these caps off when it, when the cables are just the terminals are disconnected. Okay, let's take a look here. I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. Okay, 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 okay. Every one of them needs just a little shot, but I don't have any water. I forgot to get bring the water, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to brush this debris away from the cells. Gets have my wife get some at the grocery. Now these batteries are four years old now, and uh, lead acid batteries are designed to give you about five years of service. And uh, so when I change this, I want to go to gel. these flat terminals you just use a regular wire brush of course I'm not saying that the acid won't get up in your metal wires and screw this thing all up kind of got a the ridge of stuff right there yeah, it looks like I need a piece, piece of sandpaper this thing here sure is tight short and tight That reminds me, this surface right here needs to be uh, nice and, and shiny too, so, so that when these two go together, they go like this. And oh yeah, see I got my new bolt, that'll work too, but uh, I gotta go get a piece of sandpaper. So let me hit that on my wire wheel on the grinder. I got the uh, corrosion cleaned off of here and the, the framework. And I went and I, I filled all the cells with the, uh, 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 distilled water and I got some battery protectant and I sprayed it on all the terminals. But uh, this stuff sure is ugly. Normally it's a pretty red, but uh, the color doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, so we got that. Well, that's the end of this project, the annual battery service that we've done on our batteries. So we won't have to do it again till next year. And... Uh, uh, that's probably when I'm going to yank these lead acids out and replace them with AGMs. Alright, campers, we'll see you in the campground. Happy trails.